I'm Kirsten Neese. I'm the Director of Marketing here at Cornerstone Homes. And uh, we're just all really excited about this project, The Grove at Lux Lane, and everybody that's here with us today. Um, we are fortunate, we had to postpone it, but our construction is going on, so we're super excited about that. Our land team has done a great job kind of getting the site prepped for us today, even with all the rain yesterday, so we're just really happy about that. Um, just a few people I want to call out. We've got some great um, team members with us today. All of our Cornerstone Homes team and our Crescent Group team. Um, we've got Mike Lang and Dennis and Ken Moody. And just raise your hand if you're part of the Cornerstone team. I'm not going to call everybody out, but um, Shanna Unger is our salesperson here. Most of you know her. Ken is our lead construction manager out here. He works with Dennis, the big tall guy. Um, and they are going to be building your homes. Um, a lot of our residents I see are on the, my left, but many of you are also scattered here. Um, of course, we've got Frank Lackman. Where's Frank? He's hard to not find way in back here next to Caroline, my awesome assistant that helps me do all of this. Michelle Newcomb that helps with everything back here. And Craig Logue in front of her, the sales manager. And Lori, the design consultant, who many of you guys have met with already, that helps you design our beautiful homes. Um, we've got Suzanne, part of our um, accounting team, because we wouldn't be doing well if we didn't learn able to account for it all. And um, last but not least, let's get Mike Lang. He's our president of the Crescent Group of Land Development, and Roger, our owner and founder of Cornerstone Homes and the Crescent Group. So um, we've got a lot of our team members here today, and we're super excited about it, and a lot of our partners too, um, and our bankers, Greg and John Bennett with AES, Greg Cowart is part of our um, concierge team, Chris Martin with our concierge team is here, so um, Lisa from our office is also here, sorry, uh, but we've got a lot of great people that work with us and um, we're really pleased that they're all here. Randy Biltz helps design all this awesome land as well in the back, so um, I'm going to let everybody else do all the talking now and just sort of moderate, sorry. Um, what, is there anything left? I, all I've done is introduce everybody. I haven't said anything great about the site. That's your job. So uh, Roger Glover, I'm going to introduce, and he's going to come up and chat with you all about um, this project and what fun it's been for us to pull it together. So, uh, thank you, Kirsten. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, sun's not shining, but it's not raining, so I, we consider that a good afternoon. Um, for over the last five years in Chesterfield County, Cornerstone Homes has developed uh, three unique residential communities, encompassing uh, a little over 250 brand new homes, all specifically designed and built uh, for the active adult resident. Uh, we fortunately today, and this is a good sign of it, uh, continue to have strong interest and demand for our communities and for our homes. As in, as in all our communities here at the Grove, uh, we have focused on providing those unique spaces and places that will allow our residents to experience and enjoy the rest of their lives to the fullest. Not only in the spaces that we create and build within the four walls of your new home, uh, but also with the unique and abundant outdoor amenities that we have created uh, and will provide in the community at large. Um, I, would, I would like to thank and um, recognize Chesterfield County. Uh, Chesterfield County has been excellent in their support of our communities and our residents. Um, and I'd also like to thank that we've been a pretty good business partner for Chesterfield County. Um, when we finish the Grove, uh, we will have, along with the other great things that our communities uh, and our residents, I think, do and provide for the county. We'll generate an additional $1.2 million every year in tax revenue for the county. Now, let me, while not burdening the school system with any children to educate. And if you take that number, <laughs> just make it as point, you can tell who this is designed to, okay? Yeah, I'm not looking at him, but you know who I'm talking to, right? <laughs> That has, um, when you break, you go deeper in the numbers, about 43% of all the revenue goes to educate the residents of Chesterfield County. Um, so if you take that, around 500, 
$520,000 net revenue gain for the school system every year. So every year, a half a million dollars plus goes in as a net positive gain of revenue to the school system in Chesterfield County to help with this commitment to educating its, its residents. Um, we're excited about kicking off the Grove uh, and um, we look forward to its completion. I know a lot of people standing right here look forward to its start and more start and, and absolute completion. Um, we're working on that and um, we also look forward to doing more projects in Chesterfield County in the future. So I'd like to thank everybody again for coming. Uh, I'm not, you know, thank Kirsten for recognizing everybody. Um, you know, at the, at the end of the day, uh, the county's making it possible, we're building, but you guys are the vote of confidence in buying and moving in. So we thank the residents so much for your confidence in us, and I assure you, we will work to build you a nice community and a home. Thank you. Kirsten? Thank you. Uh, with that, I'd like to introduce Chris Winslow. He's the county supervisor for the Clover Hill District here in um, where we're building. Thank you, Chris. Yeah. Well, good afternoon. Is everybody just happy to be outside? Yeah. I know I am. Uh, and, you know, in terms of social interaction, this is like, you know, a special deal just to be out here with you today. How many people here are future residents right here? Raise your hand. All right, keep your hand raised if you are a current resident of Chesterfield County. Pretty much everybody. So that's great. You're just moving across the county, which is fantastic. Um, I want to just highlight a couple of things. So this is, I believe, 62, uh, 62 units. Prior to the zoning, the rezoning of this land, there was 112 units here, a memory care center, and a private school, all zoned for this area. This is a uh, instance where we had a down zoning, if you will. So we kind of, as you can see, we have a little work going on on Lux Lane down here. It's taken a while. We're going to have a holiday, maybe a parade declared. I'm not sure yet, but something's going to happen to celebrate that. And we certainly uh, will invite uh, all our new residents uh, uh, to join us in that. But I, I, I say that to say, we know from our demographer that over the next 15 years, we're going to see a lot more uh, seasoned citizens in Chesterfield. Uh, they're telling us that, uh, you know, it's going to be our, our largest population subgroup. And so we have to build communities like this to prepare for the future. And so I'm so pleased. I've been looking at the floor plans. I'm ready to move in, uh, but I got a few years, you know, before I can qualify. Um, and uh, it looks beautiful, the, the, the ones I've seen. I know y'all en will enjoy it here. Uh, I've already been asked, I think, Mr. Akers, where are you at? There he is. He's already asked me when the sidewalk's going in down. You just wait, let me wait, let me get this project first over here done, uh, Mr. Akers, and we'll get that done. Uh, but I just want to say welcome to each of you. Thank you. I appreciate Cornerstone's commitment to our county. Uh, this development would probably not be possible if it not were it not for a policy change we had a number of years ago, and that was cutting proffers in half in the county. It has allowed other types of housing, and you've seen it, and some you may not like, some you may like, but it's allowed a diversity of housing stock to appear in Chesterfield that wasn't always here. And so, and I'm talking to the home builders over here. Cause, uh, anyway, they. They know the situation, realtors know the situation. Uh, Chesterfield is becoming the destination in the Richmond region for people to move. And so we wanna, you know, we wanna welcome them and try to fit them in as best as possible without overcrowding schools, we'll clap for that again. And, um, and you know, uh, exhausting our services with police, fire, and EMS. So with that, thank you all for being here. And if you have any questions for me anytime, my number 929-1416, you can call it anytime. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next, I'd like to introduce Danielle um, Fitzhugh. She is with the Chesterfield Chamber of Commerce. Thank you all. Uh, again, I just want to congratulate Cornerstone Homes for another property being in what we think is the best corner of the Commonwealth here in Chesterfield County. 
Uh, we understand that our businesses need employees that can have a variety of housing options, and Cornerstone is providing that. Another option, a variety of homes and rooftops in our market. Uh, it's, they did one in my district, and uh, Chris, I have to share and have one in your district, but I think I'm a little closer to being able to move in than you are. So, uh, again, welcome to Cornerstone Homes. Uh, we look forward to not just this, this partnership, but another partnership as we continue to invite residents to move here, come here, and stay here. And that's important, to stay here, right here in Chesterfield County. Thank, Thank you. And last but not least, we have Dana Marklin with the Home Builders Association of Richmond. Home Building Association of Richmond, I always say that Thanks, Kirsten. Well, I'm here on behalf of their peers in the home building industry. And you may have heard, but 3,000 of their peers from across uh, the state of Virginia have actually recognized uh, Cornerstone Homes as being a leading innovator and, and quality product for community amenities. And that's really because they're not just building a home, they're building a community. And they're setting an industry uh, standard uh, far above the, the what was the, the bar at one point. So on behalf of these 3,000 uh, builders and developers and all of those businesses that go into uh, the building of the home and the erecting of the community, I want to congratulate them and thank them for setting that higher bar. So congrats, Roger, congrats, um, Frank, uh, Mike, and Kirsten, and the entire team, Michelle Dottie, we're very proud to have them in our community and Chesterfield is a premier place to live and this is a premier place to live within that community. So congratulations. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Don't go too far, Rose. Okay. <laughs> All right, so with that, let's break some ground. We were nice enough, um, Wes, our land uh, development guy, set the site up for us today so that we wouldn't be all too muddy after all that rain we had yesterday and we're grateful it wasn't another tropical storm. So if I can have um, Roger, Chris, Dana, Mike Lang, Greg Tripp, and um, let's see, what my other speaker, Danielle, did I call you out? And Shanna and Dennis in my first photo. We'll get you. How about that? Uh, Yeah, well, we need one more. Come on down over here, Dennis. Oh, here. Oh, there's like a whole quicksand. He got himself a whole shelf. All right, here you go. One, two, three. All right, do it again. On three, go ahead and throw it out. Okay. Everyone look at Tyler. Is it on three or on three? On three. Throw it at Tyler. One, two, and then three, throw it. One, two, three. <laughs> it's amazing. All right, one more, one more, one more, just to make sure. One, two, three. There we go. Awesome. All right. Thank you.